Hi all, welcome to AG Mentor. In this video, we will be going through this problem which is based on the syntax directed translation. So, let's see how we can solve this problem. So, here the question is, consider the grammar with the following translation rules. The translation rules are given here and they have also said that E is the start symbol. They have given 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 productions and E is our starting symbol, right? And the translation rules are for the first one, for the E production, E produces E1 hash T. Here they have written E1 just to distinguish this E from the E on the left hand side. What I mean is, this production is actually E produces E hash T. So in order to distinguish the E on left hand side and E on right hand side, they have just added a numerical 1 to this E. Okay. The meaning is, E produces E hash T only. So remember, even if it's written even hash T, the meaning is E hash T only. So the translation rule given here is E dot value is equal to even dot value into T dot value. That means whenever we see the reduction, here I use the term reduction. You will understand what I mean by reduction while I solve this problem. Okay. After drawing the pass tree, while we walk through the pass tree, whenever we uh, see a reduction. At that time, we will be using this translation rule. At that time only, we will be calculating the values of each node. So, this is our first translation rule. That is, whenever we see a reduction, E produces E hash T or even hash T, we have to apply this transition rule. Similarly, when we see uh, this bar T, this bar T actually, this means that E produces T. Okay. This bar T is the continuation of the first production only. So, E produces T. Whenever you see the reduction E produces T, you have to use this translation rule. That means you have to give the value of T to E. Similarly, when you see the production or uh, whenever in the past three, when you see the reduction, T produces T ampersand F or T1 ampersand F. What do you have to do? You have to add the value of T1 and F. Here, and means plus. Okay. You have to add the values of T1 and F and you have to store that in this T. And our fourth production is, whenever you see T produces F, what do you have to do? You have to give the value of F to T. And finally, the last one, F produces now. So, whenever you see the reduction, F produces now, you have to give the lexical value of now. Lexical value means, here the numbers 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Right here, these numbers, no? Those numbers are the lexical values of the identifier num. So, you have to assign these numerical values, the lexical values of num identifier to f. So, these are the translation rules given in the question. And according to this rule, what you have to do? You have to compute the value of e. e means our stat symbol, right? So, that will be the root of our pass tree. Always when we draw a pass tree, the root will be our stat symbol only. So, the question is to compute e dot value for the root of the pass tree for the given expression. The expression is given here 2 hash 3 ampersand 5 hash 6 ampersand 7. So, you have to draw a pass tree for this expression and you have to calculate the value of root e dot value you should compute. So, this is our question. Now, let's look at the solution of this. So, I hope by the time you have understood that hash means we have to multiply those, we have to multiply those two values and ampersand means you have to add the two values. Okay. So, instead of giving the multiplication symbol and the additional symbol, they have just put some other symbol. That's the only thing they have done here. So, let's go to the solution. So, in order to draw the pass tree, first we have to know the associativity as well as the precedence of each of these symbols. So, here in the question, they have given hash as well as ampersand. These are the two symbols given in our question. So, what is the precedence? Which of these symbols have highest precedence? Here, the symbol ampersand is having higher precedence than hash. That means, ampersand is having higher precedence than hash. How can you say that? Because in the question, they have given Five productions, right? One, two, three, four, and five. I mean, this five production hash comes in the first production. 
whereas ampersand comes in the third production and the precedence will be like this this will have the lowest precedence and the bottom portion will have highest precedence always the precedence will be from the topmost production to bottommost production the topmost production will be having the lowest precedence whereas the bottommost production will have the highest precedence because we evaluate the past trees from bottom to up so the bottom portion will be evaluated first so they will be having the highest precedence so here we know that in the first production it is hash second production there is no symbol and in third production there is ampersand so ampersand is having higher precedence than hash so we can say that our expression 2 hash 3 ampersand 5 hash 6 ampersand 7 this is the expression given in our question right so among these ampersand is having the higher precedence so we have to evaluate this thing first 3 ampersand 5 this we have to evaluate first as well as 6 ampersand 7 these two are the sub expression which will be evaluated first and among these two ampersand symbols which one will be evaluated first among this 3 ampersand 5 will be evaluated first because ampersand as well as hash both are left associative because we know that hash means it is multiplication and ampersand means it is plus so for both multiplication as well as addition they are left associative so if two ampersand signs come which one we will evaluate first we have to evaluate the left to one first then only we will go to the second one will be moving from left to right order so what we can say we can say that this we will be evaluating first then we will be evaluating this then what we have to do there are two hash symbols right among these two hash symbols which symbol will be evaluated first like i said hash is evaluated from left to right so we are evaluating in this order so we have to evaluate this hash first then only we will be evaluating this hash okay so we can say that this portion will be evaluated third and then we will be evaluating this complete one as fourth okay so let's draw our past tree we have to always start from our start symbol e e is our start symbol and e is having two productions even hash t as well as t alone so which one we should use so from the question we know that we have to use two hash symbols so which production we will choose we have to choose even hash t that means this much portion will be our even and this is our t now okay this hash symbol we have already drawn now what we have to do the t should be converted to 6 ampersand 7 so which production we have to use we have to use this production because we have to introduce the ampersand symbol so we can convert this t to t1 ampersand f t1 ampersand f and now we have to give the values 6 and 7 here right so 6 and 7 means they are the lexical values of the identifier now so f produces now for f there is only one production f produces now and for t1 we have to give f and then for f we have to give now so this portion is complete now so now we have to draw the subtree of even even means we need a hash symbol as well as we need an ampersand so first we have to introduce this hash symbol to introduce hash symbol which production we have to use we have to use e produces even hash t okay so in order to expand this symbol here it is even but like i said before even means it's just e only okay so we can consider this as e even hash t because we need to introduce this symbol hash symbol okay so what comes to the left of hash it is 2 that means it's a numerical value so we can assign even as t and t as f and the f as num okay now what is left this is our t now so this t should be now expanded and the expanded value should be 3 ampersand 5 so what we have to do we have to introduce the ampersand symbol here so the production t1 ampersand 
f should be chosen and this f we can give it as num and this t1 we can give it as f and then to num okay so the first num means it is the numerical lexical value 2 this num is having the lexical value 3 this num is having the lexical value 5 this one is having the lexical value 6 and finally the last one contains the lexical value 7 so this is our parse tree and remember one thing in each of the node instead of writing this symbol we have to write dot value because in sdt we are finding out the values of the attributes here the attributes are e dot value and t dot value as well as f dot value okay so these nodes should be converted to their corresponding attributes here due to the limitation of space i am just writing t dot val e dot val only okay it's actually t dot value and even dot value so even dot val t dot val so now we have to walk through this parse tree and while walking through the parse tree whenever we see a reduction we have to perform the translation rule associated with that reduction okay so let's start from the root node we have to move down till the leftmost leaf node. So we reached here and when we reached here, what happened? When we reached here, we can see that there is a reduction. F produces num. So when we see this reduction, what we have to do? Look at the corresponding translation rule. The translation rule is we have to give the value of num. Num dot lexical value. That value should be assigned to F dot value. So here the value of num. The value of num is 2. This 2 should be assigned or this 2 should be given to f dot value. So the value of f will become 2. And now we again move upwards and we reached t dot val. Is there any reduction like t dot val produces f? Yes, there is a reduction t produces f, right? So during that time what we have to do? We have to use this translation rule that is t dot val equal to f dot value. So we have to give the value of f that is 2 to t dot value. So t dot value will become 2. Now again we move upwards and we reach e dot value. That means we have to look whether there is a reduction for e produces t. Yes, there is a reduction for e produces t. And at that time what we have to do? We have to give the value of t to e. e dot value equal to t dot value. So here this t dot value that is 2 should be assigned to e dot value that means e dot value becomes 2 now we again move upwards and we reached hash but it's not a reduction we have seen only even dot val hash till that only okay now what we have to do we have to move here to the next leftmost leaf node and then we reached here and the leaf node is num with the value 3 here, when we reached f dot val, we can see that there is a reduction. f dot val produces num, right? So, what we have to do? Just like what we did before, we have to give the value of 3 to f. So, the value of f becomes 3 and we move upwards and we reach t. And we can see that it's a reduction. t produces f. t produces f is a reduction. And we have to give the value of f to t. So, this 3 is then assigned to t. t or t1, okay? And now we again walk through the past tree. We saw M present. We don't do anything. And we come to the next leftmost node. I mean leftmost leaf node. Now we reached the leaf node num. And here the num is having the lexical value 5. And when we reach up here, we can see there is a reduction. F produces num. Thus we give the value 5 to F. Then again we reach here. And when we reach here, when we reach this t dot value, we can see that we have completed a reduction. T produces t1 ambrosent f. Now only we have completed this reduction, right? So what's the translation rule for t dot val? Here we can see that t produces t1 ambrosent f, right? For that reduction, what we have to do? We have to add the values of t1 and f and we have to assign it to t. So what we will do? We have to add t1 dot value that is 3 and f dot value that is 5. So 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 means 8. And that result should be assigned here to t dot value. So t dot value becomes 8. So when we reach here, we can see that there is again a reduction. E1 produces even hash t. 
that's a reduction right e produces even hash t just as i said before e and even can be used interchangeably because both are actually e only one is written only for the distinguishing purpose so actually both are e only okay so actually it is e produces e hash t okay so we have seen that reduction here e produces e hash t so what we have to do the corresponding translation rule is to multiply the values of e1 and t so the value of e1 is 2 and the value of t is 8 so we have to multiply 2 and 8 the result will be 16 and that 16 we have to store to the this e dot value so this will become 60 2 into 8 60 now we again move forward and we reach the next leftmost leaf node and the value of num is 6 then we move upwards and we reach the f dot value so we know that it's a reduction f produces num is a reduction and we have to store the value of 6 to f so this f dot value becomes 6 now we again move forward and we reach the t1 dot value so it's a reduction t produces f okay so what we have to do we have to give the value of f to t that means the value of t1 will become 6 now again we move forward to the next leftmost leaf node see the identifier num which consists of the value 7 and when we reach here you can see it's a reduction f produces num so we have to assign this value 7 to f so the value of f becomes 7 and then we move forward and we reach t so here we have completed a reduction t produces t ampersand f or t produces t1 ampersand f now this reduction is completed and what we have to do here from this translation rule it's clear that we have to add the values of t1 and f and store the result to its root or uh, the parent okay so the value of t1 is 6 and the value of f is 7 so we have to add 6 plus 7 the result 13 should be stored in t dot value so here t dot value will become 13 and then we again move forward and we reach the root of the first tree and here we can see that we have again reached a reduction e produces e1 hash t this is our first production e produces e1 hash t the translation rule is to multiply the values of e1 and t and result should be stored in e so the value of e1 is 16 and the value of t is 13 so what we have to do we have to multiply 16 and 30 16 into 30 means the value is 208 so the result 208 is thus the result 208 should be saved here in the root here the question was to compute e dot value for the root of the pulse tree so finally we can write that e dot value is equal to 208 this will be our final answer so this is how you solve the problems related to syntax directed translation so what you have to do is you have to draw the pulse tree for the corresponding expression and then you have to walk through the pulse tree and whenever you see a reduction you have to apply the corresponding translation rule here all the attributes e dot value t dot value f dot value all these attributes are synthesized attributes only because their values are depending on their children only none of these attributes depends on their siblings or their parents they get their result from their child nodes or children so we can say that all the given attributes here are synthesized attributes only okay so that's all about this question we'll see soon in the next video thank you